I received a number of requests to, to help contribute to the proof systems repo. So this is a quick five minutes introduction to that repository. Um, first, the README is sort of helpful, uh, especially for the organization here. It kind of describes the different crates that we have, uh, but I'll give you a tour of the crates. If you want to learn more about the protocol, uh, there's a few links you can follow. Uh, there's the, the Kimchi book, I guess, where we have the specifications. Kimchi is the specification I'm currently working on. Um, so it's not, it's not really complete, but there is some stuff that can be as useful if you want to understand the, the protocol. Um, so it's called Kimchi, but it's, it's really a variant of Plonk. And it relies on a polynomial commitment that we don't have a spec yet uh, for that. And we also use the pasta curves, uh, a pair of elliptic curves that are, that are pretty useful for recursion. Um, if you want to see the Rust documentation, that can be useful also. You can just click on that link. Uh, and here you have the documentation for all of our crates. The documentation is not always good. So if you want to improve the documentation, that, that'd be really, really useful. Uh, there's a lot of stuff that's not documented. A um, bunch of crates that don't really have module level or crate level documentation. So, so that would be useful. Um, I guess there's one last link. Uh, there's the Mina book that can be useful. Uh, I don't have a link to that, uh, but just read really here. Uh, and this has a bunch of uh, helpful stuff, but that, that can be really overwhelming uh, to, to really read a, a lot of that thing. So usually what I, what I suggest is to start with an easy task, start with code. And as you're modifying code around, uh, you, you'll touch different parts of the code and, and, and get curious about how does that work? How does that work? And then I, I can give you some more uh, indication on where to learn uh, more on that stuff. So anyway, let's look uh, through the different crates that we have. Book is just where the, the book leaves, so the specifications. Caro is just an experimental crate, so I, I would ignore that for now. Uh, that doesn't run in production. Curves is where the, um, the, the, the pasta curves are defined. It's a pretty small crate. Uh, group map, actually, um, it's, it's to, to, to uh, convert um, basically elliptic curve elements to uh, field elements and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't have documentation, so it's a bit annoying, but it's a pretty small crate as well. Most of the protocol is in Kimchi, actually. Uh, let's say, yeah, most of the protocol is in Kimchi, so I'll give you a tour of Kimchi. OCaml, you can ignore that. It's just if you want to use the crate, uh, all of that from OCaml, um, so just ignore that. Oracle is the hash function implementation that we use, so it's Poseidon. It's a uh, ZKSNARK frame. Uh, friendly hash function, uh, so that's what we use. And also, Kimchi used a polynomial commitment scheme. Actually, it, most of Kimchi is based is, is built on top of a polynomial commitment scheme, which allows us to commit to polynomials and and um, and create evaluation proofs. And if if you don't really know what polynomial commitments are, I, I have like some very simple explanation in the Mina book uh, for that. Uh, it's a pretty uh, messy crate, so that that could use a lot of work actually. Uh, signer, kind of ignore that, that's, that's unrelated to Kimchi, it's just uh, something to sign. We store some tools in, under tools. Uh, if you want to see what a circuit looks like, you can use Kimchi Bizu to, to generate a HTML page that shows you what a, uh, what a circuit looks like, basically. And utils is kind of like a, a crate where we store stuff that's not really related to, to the rest, um, utilities, and that that, yeah, it's, it's pretty much our go-to uh, credit to, to store helpers and, and extension of trace that, that we find useful and, and, and so on. So anyway, let's, let's look at Kimchi. That's, that's the uh, interesting crate. We have the circuit part that's separated in a circuit folder. And then this is all, all about the protocol. And what's, inter what's important here is really um, when you compile your circuit, uh, you actually compile it down to two indexes, the prover index and the verifier index. So they are defined here. Uh, and the prover here can use the prover index to generate proofs. And the verifier can use the verifier index to verify proofs. So this is where the protocol is. Uh, and this is just uh, moving stuff uh, outside of the protocol. This is just a benchmark. Um, so yeah. And, and circuits is, is um, basically, you, you need to think of a circuit as just a series of gates. Uh, so you just have to go to gates and uh, there's, a, there's a gate type here and this is, these are all the gates that we have. Uh, zero gate not really being a, a real gate, it's just uh, it doesn't do anything. 
The generic gate is the Planck gate. Basically, that's the gate that allows you to do addition and multiplication uh, and other stuff. Usually, you can write anything using the generic gate, but it's not very efficient for some operations. So we actually have more specialized gates like Poseidon to do the hashing, um, some elliptic curve gates, and ChaCha for encryption and decryption. So uh, th this is what uh, this is for. And then if you want to create a circuit, we don't really have uh, yet. We're working on that. But we don't have code to create a circuit, so you have to do it manually. You have to create these gates manually. Um, so uh, for example, let's look at uh, Poseidon. Um, so Poseidon has a create Poseidon function, which only creates a gate. But since Poseidon takes several gates, we have a gadget here to create several gates um, to, to simulate a Poseidon hash function. But basically, what it does is that it returns a vec of, of self, um, which is a vector of circuit gates. And a circuit gate is um, this type, which is just a, what, what's the gate? Um, how do you wire things around? So, so you know, if, if you create, if the gate creates an output, you might want to use that output somewhere else for another gate. So you have to wire uh, these things around, these gates, you know, the outputs of gates to the inputs of other gates. And coefficients is just something to tweak uh, gates. It's only used by the generic gate and the Poseidon gate. It's not too, too important, but it's to tweak a gate. Um, and pretty much the gates are defined in gates and polynomials. Ideally, we should move the code in gates into uh, the respective files in polynomials, which is what we've started doing. Uh, so this, this should disappear. But every gate is defined here. OK, I don't want to take too long. OK, maybe one last thing to, to mention is that we use the expression framework for most of the gates. Uh, this allows us to easily write equations and to, to optimize the evaluation of this equation. Uh, and, and it's pretty handy. Uh, but yeah, I, I think that's good enough for a tour. So yeah, let me know if you have any questions. I know all this book stuff can be um, overwhelming. So I think what I recommend to people is just to take a task and um, you know change some code. And as you touch the code, you, you'll touch interesting crypto stuff and then you can learn more about that um, and it's it's an easier way to enter a project.